Well, her danger, the metal. I'm hanging here with uh, the Ruby Lounge with Profane. Hello, guys. Hello. 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 How y'all doing? We're good. We're excited. Tired. Yeah. yeah. You sure you should be. There's a brilliant set that you just did. Yeah. <laughs> Forget the tired guy. The tired guy. He don't speak to him. But yeah, we, we're excited. We're all. Because we just we played a good gig. We think a good gig anyway. Yeah. And our album comes out tomorrow. So it's nice. Cool. So, for those who are new to Profane at home, who are you and what do you do in the band? I'm Daryl and I play the bass and make a racket. I'm Mark and I play guitar. I'm Phil and I sing. I'm Luke and I also play the guitar. Wicked. Uh, we're missing a drummer. Care to explain? Uh, he lives in London. Well, we're obviously based in Manchester and Steve lives in London, so... Is he a permanent drummer? He is, yeah, yeah. That's he, dedication. He comes up here like two nights a week when we, when we do rehearsal and stays over. Yeah. It's really good, but he's driving back now. Oh. So, it is dedication. And a he's sort of a, is, he's a driver by... By trade as well, isn't it? So, <laughs> he, he just he just drove to Spain to Primavera Festival with a piano for Damon Albarn. Yeah. And then back again, <laughs> and then back with the Damon piano. Albarn. I don't. They don't have pianos in Spain. So that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cool. So, uh, how did you guys all get together? How did Profane form? Who would like to answer that? So you'll go that way. We saw it. We, me and Luke have been playing together for about well, a long time. Uh, we started off under a different name and we called ourselves Profane about well, a long time. What was the first name? name? The first name was Day of Hate. No, the first name was yeah. Wall. Yeah. Oh, the first name was Wall. Wall. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what a lot. We were 16 or <laughs> three weeks or something. <laughs> we were 16 we were called Wall. Then we changed Day of Hate, which we stole off the back of a nail bomb t-shirt. Do you remember nail bomb? It was a, a thing that Max Cavalera from Seppel Jordan, like a side oh, project. Right. And they had this big thing that said Day of Hate on the back. That's a really cool band name. And then everyone started thinking the nail bomb t-shirts were ours. And I also saw a guy wearing your t-shirt the other day, so we thought, you better change it. Uh, so we just called it Profane, but we've been playing with um, Daryl and Doy for about four years, three years? May four, him till about two. two. Yeah, and we've known each other for quite a long time. That's oh, cool. Um, last time I met up with you guys, um, it was a, a Gwar concert. Oh, yeah. So, uh, did you get as messy as I did by the no, end of it? No, we didn't. <laughs> you what, though? We were soft. We, we hid in the back. You <laughs> softy. Before they came on stage, they had all of their all of their costumes and stuff primed backstage. So yeah. if you touch them, like it just spurts all of the shit. And <laughs> and I took Rosie, my girlfriend, back then to. Uh, <laughs> sorry. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Good. <laughs> it spurts all the stuff and, and I took Rosie and my girlfriend back to have a look at it all and then we climbed up the stairs and she fell over and, and all the stuff fell over. Oh, shit. They, they <laughs> weren't too happy with me. Yeah, yeah. yeah we kept our we kept our heads down. <laughs> 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 but it was a good concert to watch, was it not? It was oh, awesome, oh, yes. unbelievable. What was it? Pope, uh, Pope Benedict, was it? Pope Benedict. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's it's amazing. Amazing. Yeah, yeah. It was amazing. Yeah. Yeah. It was awesome. I mean, you never bands don't do that anymore, do they? It's yeah. rare that you do, so it's really cool, and especially. That night, Deftones were playing, and it was still really busy. Which yeah. says a lot for a band that had been around for so long and still pulling people in after all this time. Well, the band were really actually nice. supporting Deftones that night at the band we're going on tour with, oh, that's cool. and they um, they blacked in to see Guar because they wanted to see Guar. So I was thinking, so, yeah. that's okay. uh, you've had a lot of uh, press from the mainstream metal mags. Uh, do you think that Profane are finally getting somewhere now? We <laughs> hope so. Yeah, like I said, it's a tiny little label that came out before, and we've got. Uh, a bit more backing now, a little bit more money behind us, which unfortunately in this day and age you do need for yeah. people to take notice and you need to have mainstream advertising and we've got it this time around, so it's good, hopefully. Although Giza Records have some great bands, especially one called Immune, www.beimmune.com. Very tall, with electronics and stuff, but like that's cool. Really, really, really cool. Oh, that's cool. Uh, the day we scorch the sky is out tomorrow. Uh, can you explain your thoughts on the album? Are you happy with it? Or which is your fave? This yeah. time round, I'm well made up with it because we've uh, we've put like an acoustic version of of Cable Car on there. And uh, a live version which, which, of one of our yeah, songs. We had a piano player come in, and like it's it's not just a straight acoustic version of a song previously mm -hmm. done. So it's really it's, to mess around with it. It's yeah. like it's totally been changed. There's a different feel to it, and we've had a piano player, oh, like, um, like this guy we know called Mark Hassel, who's in, insanely good, and he just put this piano part down for us, and it, it, it made it. It absolutely made it. So just for that alone, it's worth <laughs> listening to at least. <laughs> and 
there's, there's some extra tracks on it now as well. And we've got brand new artwork by a guy called John Townsend, who's based in Manchester. Um, and it's really up with the art, really nice. Yeah. It's done a great job. Great job. Is there any signature uh, song that you would like to highlight? There's a song that's on it that wasn't, there's a, a new song that was on the last album called I Think About Staying My Welcome, which is probably one of the happiest things I've been able to put. That and the song of David Scott's Skies, I think, stand out on it. But I'm biased. <laughs> <laughs> it's supposed to be. <laughs> uh, you had a video shoot in uh, April. Have you got any stories you'd like to share? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you've obviously got we've one. We've got a routine for videos now. Our routine. Uh, our, our routine for videos is get up, it's always an early start so you can get all the hours out of the day. Get a crate of beer and get wankers. Get do what? More, more get drunk. Get drunk, yeah. sorry. Yeah. You can say oh, wankers. Yes, yeah. Alright, cool, go. And uh, so yeah, the, by the end of the day we were all quite quite lubricated, weren't we? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, really, <laughs> it's really difficult because you've got to like it feels so self conscious. Yeah, yeah. you know I mean? like, well. And you you're like miming along to your own song. Exactly. Yeah. It's, it's just weird. Weird. It's it's weird. Weird. Not, like you're doing stuff, you've been up for ages and you're not actually playing, it's hard to get into it, so the best thing to do is have a couple of beers because you can't yeah, really get, a flask. <laughs> get a flask of whiskey. I, I was I was burnt by nine o'clock. By nine o'clock at night, I couldn't even you talk anymore. Really I was really asleep. Yeah. So that, <laughs> that's how rock and roll white really are. The video was actually done by a guy uh, we know called Rob Kind, who we've known for a long time. He's got a, a production company called Pink Grenade, which is just easy. He's a really good guy, really professional. And so, he came out like much better than we'd have imagined. We did a, we did, I don't know if people have seen it, but we did a video for Scorched, uh, David Scorched the Sky, about, I don't know, about a year ago. About a year ago. But Rob wasn't happy with it. And he did the video again this time and just sort of like went to town on it really. I think he used it for like, he used it for his like dissertation in a university. Yeah, yeah. 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 a little uh, cinema called the Corner House in Manchester, which is like a bit of an arty cinema. Yeah. And he got a show there and apparently went down really well. So. Oh, but cool. to see Rob progress as well from one yeah. to the other, yeah. it's, it's a really cool it's thing. Amazing. Amazing. You got any funny stories? Uh, no. 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 Yeah, sure. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm sure you have. There's a, there's a big guitar expo in London every year <laughs> called London oh, right. Guitar Show. <laughs> and uh, Luke and uh, Mark went down. Okay. Uh, they, were, they, they were drinking with the guys from Sixth and Biomechanical in their hotel. They then went to Sixth Hotel. Drink, drunk in there and then came back to the hotel they were staying in. Right. <laughs> carried on drinking and at some point during that night Luke thought he was still in the other hotel so went to the hotel next door and possibly, he doesn't really remember, but demanded to get into a room that he wasn't actually in so he ended up paying for a room.